Okay, so I just had to have a little word with myself off camera because I was very, very close to giving up. But I'm gonna persevere, I'm gonna continue for some reason. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be testing out a craft kit from House of Crafts. You're joking, not another one? Oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly, I can't stand this. Now, if you've been with the channel for long enough, you'll know that I've tested out quite a few of these craft kits. Some of them have been pretty good. It seems to work, it's doing okay. It's melting away, it's on fire, it's a candle. <laughs> and some of them have been just awful. If you were excited by Mosaic, you wouldn't enjoy. Well, that one wasn't glued on properly. Ah, oh, well. But hopefully this one will impress me. Okay, so this is it here. It's House of Crafts Thread Art, HHJ620, for some reason. And the price is £11.95, but I paid over £13 for it when I bought it. I've been ripped off. So we're not off to a good start. And what does it say about this product? Okay, so the product description is House of Crafts Thread Art. That's it, doesn't tell you any more. It's a mystery. So we've got that description, we've got the one picture. Let's see some reviews so we can get a good idea of what this actually is. Okay, it's only got three reviews, but I can only see two of them, apparently, for some reason. I don't know why. Silver Apples, that is a fantastic username. I really like that. I bought this as a birthday present that I needed to send in the post to my young niece. It is light, so good for posting. I think it will be really lovely when it is made up and doesn't seem very difficult to do. You've given a positive review, but you haven't tried it. Anon says, a bit disappointing. Not a lot in here, came up under card making, but is not a card, expensive for how little is included. So they were expecting a card, but it does say thread art craft kit. It doesn't say about card making or anything like that. So <sighs> you should really read the description. Anyway, let's jump in and see for ourselves what this product actually is. Right, so this is the box here, and it's very, very similar to all the other House of Crafts craft kits that they make. They definitely have a theme, and it is very light. Silver Apples was right. Uh, it tells me on the box what it is. It's... I didn't even read it. Create this fascinating and delicate dandelion clock design using the traditional technique of pin and thread art. This innovative kit includes all the materials to create a delightful picture to brighten any room. Can't wait. And this is obviously thread. People know that I'm not very good at knitting and I'm not very good at crochet, but thread, I should have no problems. Right, okay. So we have some glue. I have seen this glue before in one of their craft kits. I can't remember which one. It might have been the mosaic one. And this glue is shit. We've got some thread. Well, it was shit for mosaic. I'm not sure whether it'll be shit for this. We've got some pins, some really hideous stickers, some instructions, some more instructions. Okay, you don't get a lot in here for the price. I paid £13 for... Is this a part of it? Is this a part of the kit? It can't be. Oh, it is. This is a part of the kit. I was going to throw this away. Okay. So you basically get a little bit of PVA glue, some thread, some needles, some stickers, a bit of card, another bit of card, and a bit of polystyrene for 13 quid. Oof, this review's gonna be a bad one, I know that. I'm already very underwhelmed, I'll put it that way. Right, let's read these instructions, see what I have to do. Why, why have they made it so complicated for? It, did, it does not need to be this complicated. I think I understand what I'm doing. I'm gonna get the box so I can use their picture. Let me try and figure this out. Them instructions are useless. Ah, oh, so that's just the back of it. Oh my God, that's awful. Could have at least given you like a bit of wood or something. Jesus. Yeah, so I'm just waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up because they're basically wanting me to stick everything down with this PVA glue and then leave it overnight. And quite frankly, I don't have time for that. You can easily do this with hot glue and it's just so much quicker. So screw that. We're just gonna run some hot glue down here and stick this down. Yeah, I honestly thought this bit of black card that was in there was just like packaging. I didn't realize it was actually part of the kit. I was so close at throwing it away. And stick that side down and then stick these bits down as well. And then you basically have a little box like this. Now the instructions are quite hard to follow. Reading them, I assume that this is kind of a backing to hide the polystyrene and the seams and stuff. That's what I got from this anyway. This could be wrong, but I'm gonna do it. And once I've done it, there's no turning back. Okay, so we have basically a little 
box with a bit of polystyrene in, so then we can shove the pins in. I think that makes sense. So I don't need my glue gun anymore, do I? No. Get rid of you before I burn myself. And this is basically the diagram they give you to make this that's on the box. But I'll read you the instructions just so you realise how complicated they actually make it. Right, so they've got steps for every single different coloured thread. So the green, the blue and the silver. So for the silver thread it says... That's just for silver thread. The instructions for the green and blue are just as complicated. So I don't think I'm going to follow it, if I'm honest with you. I think if I was to follow the instructions, things would go wrong. It's a shame I can't just like... Oh, actually, what I can do, I'll just stab through this and then remove it. And then I know exactly where the pins are. Oh, that makes so much sense. Thank you, brain. You are working today. I'm going to have to get some gloves. They hurt my hands. Don't need the two. Just need one. This is probably what you were supposed to do. And I just wasn't thinking. So I don't think it was that great of an idea. It was just me being thick. Right, done. Okay, so I've got all my dots there, which is perfect. So now I just need to put all the pins in. I'm not sure how far they're supposed to come out, but soon find out. Oh, I've dropped one, I've lost it. Where'd you go? Found it. I'm just hoping that this is the longest part of doing this because this is taking such a long time. I wasn't expecting it to, and I've got no one else to blame but myself. I hope my thread art looks exactly like theirs. If it doesn't, I'm going to be disappointed. I'm going to return it. I want my money back. You've already overcharged us for it. Right, first part complete. And either they give you extra pins or I've done it wrong. No, I think they are extras. And how long did that take me? That took me half an hour just to put them pins in. Oh, I'm tired already. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out how to do the thread part. Okay, I think I'm just gonna wing it. I think they photoshopped theirs. Their thread looks a lot thicker than mine does. Mine is incredibly thin. This is gonna be so fiddly. I'm just gonna kind of go for it and see what happens. Oh, I'm doing something. I'm doing it. The thing is, how devastating would it be if this just all unraveled when you got to like the end? You would just be absolutely gutted. It's starting to unravel. Stop. I'll go around the outside now, I think. Um. Oh, this is fiddly. I'm definitely not enjoying this, I will say that. Loop it around one of them so that doesn't all untangle because that would be devastating. Oh, oh, you're testing us. I don't like you very much. I, I think that's kind of looking like the picture. So I'm just gonna tie it into a knot and hope that it stays. Oh my God, what am I doing? I'm just throwing thread everywhere. Oh, you just wrapped around the leg of my chair. I missed a bit there because it unraveled itself and I just don't care anymore. Okay, so I just had to have a little word with myself off camera because I was very, very close to giving up. But I'm going to persevere. I'm going to continue for some reason. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add these stickers just to give us a little break from the thread. So the F separate for some strange reason. Follow your dreams. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Have a sarcastic comment. I will say though, that it just remind me of them really tacky vinyl stickers that people put in their homes. I apologize if you're one of them who has them in your homes, but I just, I hate them. They're awful. Where they have inspirational scenes stuck on the walls. It just, just doesn't make any sense. I definitely think I'm gonna wake up every day and I'm gonna look at this inspirational message and I'm just gonna say, you know, you, you go get it. You, you follow my dreams, follow them. Is that all they put on? Okay, well it's very minimal for my taste. I would have covered the entire thing in stickers because I've got a lot left over, but I'm gonna stay accurate to the picture. Okay, back to threading. Right, 
I'm giving up on the green because I'm really starting to be tested now. I think the hardest part of the entire thing is tying your knots in the end. It's, it verges on the impossible. I feel like I need an extra 10 arms and 20 fingers. Right, I'm up to here so far. I just need to do these three little things. And can you imagine if all of this just magically unraveled right now? How devastated I would be. And I can imagine there's some people out there who's wishing for that to happen. I don't think it's going to though. I think I've secured it quite well. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread the three of these things off camera so I can like watch some Netflix or something because you have to realise when I do these things, I'm in a very silent studio and it's just, it's really boring. So I'm going to watch some Netflix, do these three things, and then I'll meet you back in probably a second, but it'll be probably just be hours for me. And I'll show you my finished result. Okay, it's about three episodes of Grace and Frankie later. I absolutely love that show. And I finally have my finished piece of thread art. And this is it here. And it looks okay. It definitely doesn't look as good as the one on the box, but it looks okay. I did think it was incredibly fiddly to do, however and it did take me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Kind of is what it is, really. I also attached a little hook on the back because I'm going to hang it up in the studio, not because I particularly like it, but because it just took me so long. And you never know, it might inspire me to follow my dreams. There we go, inspirational. But what are my overall thoughts on this thread art craft kit from House of Crafts? I'm going to give it quite a generous two thread flowers out of five. I was debating between one and two, I just couldn't decide. And the main reason for that is I just think the quality of the product isn't particularly good, especially based on the price. That's pretty much it. The activity itself, it's, it's actually not too bad, but I do think I could DIY a much, much better version of what is in this kit and create something a little bit more exciting, a little bit more interesting. And in fact, if you want to see me create my own version of a thread art piece and do like a proper one, a proper decent one, then let me know down in the comments and I will do one. But that pretty much does it for today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you come across any of the craft kits or creative products or anything like that you want to see tested out on the channel, then leave your suggestions in the comments below. And I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Bye.